What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mods Weekly. This is a series where I show you guys some of the coolest mods to come out for Skyrim Special Edition each and every week. I know some of you have been kind of confused as to the definition behind some of my series. Five cool mods is just showing you cool mods. The Mods Weekly series is meant to show you guys mods that I think are much better and worth a download. There may be some overlap if I find a mod that is definitely good for the longer term, but basically if you're only interested in mods that are kind of of like the great mods that you're gonna probably want to download and keep on your game for a while this is gonna be that series regardless hopefully you guys did have a pretty good kind of Thanksgiving break and Black Friday there were a lot of good deals on Skyrim special edition so if you for some reason haven't picked up the game or are still playing old room I definitely recommend checking it out they're still going on but with all that being said if you guys do enjoy the content I really encourage you to consider subscribing but with that let's just jump right into it so the first mod I do want to show you guys is the Deadly Bosses of Skyrim. Basically what this mod is going to add in is a ton of really tough and hard to beat enemies around the Skyrim kind of map or world. A lot of these are going to have different themes or little stories behind them. Some of them are bold raiders, some of them are kind of deserters from the military, other ones are dragons. Regardless, each and every one is going to be a difficult fight but have a very good reward at the end of it. I think it's a pretty cool and interesting way to try out that new cool armor mod or just one of those nice weapons you downloaded, especially for your higher level characters out there when everything seems relatively easy. This is a great mod to download to go take on some actually difficult enemies and have a real challenge on your hands. And the reason I like this is because again, the rewards are pretty generous. A lot of them will give you a ton of gold or maybe a cool weapon or armor that is otherwise not available. Up next we have Winter is Coming. This is going to be a mod that adds in a bunch of different cloaks into the game as well as a few different hoods that have helmets built into them. So this is a pretty cool mod especially if you play a lot in the northern regions of Skyrim. Basically a lot of NPCs, really bandits, are going to start spawning with these cloaks on them and there's a huge variety here. Even one specific kind of variant of the cloak will have like four other sub variants having little detailing on them that varies and changes the way the cloak looks. Then even beyond that you have a bunch of different color options options and different trim options and then even beyond that you do have two different major categories those being either bear or wolf cloaks all around it's a very cool mod one thing i actually really like is there are some cloaks or rather hoods that are going to have different helmets built into them i just think this is a very cool look and on top of that as i was mentioning before i really like the variety here and the way it's implemented into the leveled list when you're taking on different bandits or just really enemies in general that are going to use these kinds of i don't want to call it armor i guess just clothes you're going to always find new ones due to the sheer volume of how many are added by this mod. It definitely is going to spice up your game and even in some sense make you feel a little bit warmer as it does also work with Frostfall right out of the box. Up next we have a Sea of Spirits. Basically what this mod is going to add in is a bunch of sea life into Skyrim. So now as you're exploring a lot of different waters or just traveling around, you'll see some different sea life including narwhals, not narwhals, and then actual whales. And all around it's pretty cool. A lot of these are going to be hostile to you, but some of them are passive. You can kill them and harvest some of their different supplies like a narwhal horn or some meat if you're feeling a little bit hungry. Mods like this I think are just cool to have on your game. You probably won't go in the water all that often, but if you ever do, it's nice to see some sea life there and it gives you a little bit of a purpose if you were let's say wanted some narwhal meat or wanted to try and kill one of the big whales. Again all around I think it's a pretty cool mod and definitely one that's worth downloading and leaving on your game just for the kind of extra details it will add in. So up next we have Weapons of the Third Era. So there's two authors on this one. 747 numbers did kind of make this mod originally for Skyrim, but then kind of quit modding and gave permission to Coffee Cup to port it over to Skyrim Special Edition. So a huge shout out to both of those guys. This is actually very quickly turning into one of my favorite weapon mods for Skyrim Special Edition thus far. It adds in a lot of Morrowind styled weapons. Actually, a lot of these weapons did appear in Morrowind itself. There are a few main reasons I really like this weapon mod. First and foremost, it is implemented in to the leveled list so you're going to see these spawning on a bunch of different enemies in the game. I really like that feature because a lot of weapon mods aren't doing that and it's a little bit frustrating because I want my Skyrim to look like I modded it. On top of that all these weapons are very high quality. They look really good, feel really good in your hand and again there's a pretty good variety here. And then last but not least one of my favorite features is there's a lot of detail on the different forms of the weapons you can get. For example an ebony scimitar and a daedric scimitar are going to look totally different. Well not totally different but there's going to be different features on 
on each of them that's actually in the model not just in the texture a lot of different mods will just kind of retexture them make them look a little bit different but this one is actually doing model work to make the higher tier weapons look a little bit cooler and more unique for example they'll have kind of gold on the hilt there or just some other changes to make them stand out a little bit more than the lower tier weapons all around again i think this is definitely one of the best weapon mods out thus far obviously it's very lore friendly because well they're actually from the lore and even beyond that there's quite a bit of variety here so seeing them in your world will be pretty nice so up next we have unique border gates this is kind of a mod that serves no practical purpose although just making your game look and feel a little bit cooler basically if you go around some of the borders of the major cities now or really just the borders of the map you're going to find that there's these gates with guards or little establishments around them all these are going to have their own theme behind them based on what kind of faction is there and then even more importantly what faction is the on the other side again it's a really simple mod but i think this is nice a little attention to detail is what makes skyrim feel like a good modded game when you have a bunch of mods adding in little features like this coming all together in your final game it feels like a big improvement over the base game and i definitely think this is one of those mods you're going to want to add to a list like that up next we do have the Volkahar Knight. Basically this adds in three kind of sets of armors for vampire users out there, each of them having their own unique and kind of cool abilities. On top of that it actually is adding in just a totally custom armor that does look pretty badass. My favorite of the three sets I did check out was actually the third one that kind of allowed you to sneak and when out of combat you would poof into thin air and go invisible. I thought this was very cool and it's only made for vampire characters. So if you're not a vampire none of this will work you'll just be using a regular old armor set. When downloading this mod I felt like I would download it simply because it's a pretty cool looking armor. Then adding in all these unique abilities to the armor really just made it stand out from a lot of the other mods in the game. If you're a vampire user, I would definitely check this mod out simply because of how cool it is. And there definitely is a lot of attention to detail. The armor is very high quality and very modular. All around, I think it's just a pretty good time to use. So up next we have Unique Magicka Sabers. So this is a really cool mod, basically adding in lightsabers into Skyrim Special Edition. But even beyond that, I actually like a lot of the details that this mod does offer. There are a ton of different options as far as sabers go. You could have one-handed, two-handed, different colors. You could have different themed ones like Darth Maul, Yodas. It even encompasses a lot of the lesser known Jedis from maybe some of the book, not in the main movies or main lore. But beyond that, one of the reasons I really like this is one, the sound effects are pretty on point. You have a draw sound as well as a put away sound. And when you're swinging it, You'll have some of those different kind of inaction sounds but even beyond that there's even smaller details that i think really make this mod stand out the lore friendly way it's incorporated into skyrim is it's meant to be kind of from a magic of rock that it's using magic of some sorts to make it work and it actually fits into the game that's not super outlandish in kind of skyrim you could believe that was possible even beyond that when using the lightsaber you're gonna have little kind of strokes of heat like it'll make the air look different i don't really know how to describe that and even on top of that when you attack different enemies you'll actually Actually leave little burn marks on their armor or just their skin based on where your lightsaber did hit all around this is a very polished mod it would have been cool if it just added in lightsabers but all these different features and additions really makes it stand out as one of the better mods out there for skyrim so last but not least, we have the Celtic Katana by Insanity Sorrow. Basically, it's going to add in a very high quality Katana mod into the game. It does come in, in one-handed and two-handed versions, as well as a bunch of different colors. So here I'm using the red one, but there's blue ones, yellow ones, etc, etc. All around, it's a very high quality weapon, and I just found it to be a ton of fun to use. It really embodies, I feel like, what you picture a Katana to be like in your head. That being kind of fast, high damage dealing if you hit them right. And again, Insanity Sorrow makes some of the highest quality weapon mods for Skyrim, so this is no exception to that rule. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for this episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mods Weekly. I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you had a good Thanksgiving break and Black Friday. And as always, I hope to see you guys next time. Later!